welcome back to Train Sim World 4. My name is LazyJet and today we are at the training centre. Uh, the reason why we're on this uh, route today is because uh, I had a really cool idea and because this route is just a big circle, it will be perfect uh, for the little plan and the little idea and also a test. It's a, this is a test idea that I've got today, which I think is going to be pretty awesome, but only if it works. Now, I've got to be honest, uh, in today's video, uh, is isn't actually an original idea. Uh, I actually got inspired uh, to do this. Because the other day I was watching a film called Unstoppable. Now if you don't know what Unstoppable is, it's basically a disaster movie where a runaway train loses control and uh, basically they do every trick in the book to try and get this train to a stop. And there was one scene in the movie where they actually put another locomotive in front of the runaway train to try and bring this nuclear train to a stop before uh, it crashes and causes harm to hundreds of people. Or maybe thousands, I'm not sure. But I'm going to be recreating that scene where they put the locomotive in front of the runaway train in order to try and get it to a stop. And also, we're not going to be using American trains, we're going to be using uh, British trains. Because, like, you know, we've seen the movie Unstoppable, uh, which is a, a disaster movie based in America, but what if we use UK trains to see what that's like? And also, instead of just using diesels, I was thinking of we having one diesel as the runaway train, and using a steam engine to try and get it to a stop. Like, for example, the Flying Scotsman. Hmm. So here's my big genius plan. We're going to get a Class 47, put it in full throttle, and abandon the train and just let it run away, basically. It's going to get away from us. And then I'm going to put Scotsman on the same track. And because this route is just a big circle, I'm going to wait until the runaway train comes round. And then I'm going to pick it up and try and bring this runaway train to a stop. That is my plan. So if you're new to the LazyJet YouTube channel, why not consider subscribing, turn the bell notification as well so you stay notified to the channel, it's just a click of a button. Right then, let's play some Train Sim World and start a runaway train. Right, so since we're in free roam, we can spawn down anything we want. So by pressing tab, we want to spawn a new train. Uh, 47, 47. There, class 47, that's what we want. And I think uh, we'll have uh, seven, uh, yeah, seven coaches, and we'll have we'll have it empty. We don't want any passengers. On. Actually, no, we'll have passengers on board. We'll make it more uh, feel more realistic and feel like more like a dangerous disaster movie. Oh, there's the uh, class forty-seven. Very nice. Looks beautiful. Basically, I'm just setting up the uh, the locomotive. So. Uh, so hopefully it won't stop by itself. Uh, so let's just give a little test of the throttle. Uh, oh, I don't think the brakes are fully off yet. Let's just wait for the brakes to be fully off. Uh, oh, we also need the uh, lights uh, on, I think. Are the lights on? Uh, headlight on. There we go. Um, are the brakes fully off? Yeah, brakes are fully off. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready because once this train moves, the door will close by itself. So I've got to be quick here. So I'm going to stand by the door and then, um, oh wait, no, the, the seat is in the way. I think I've got to stand by this door actually. Um, okay, let's see if this works. So we've got to throttle to full, then jump off and the door closes by itself. Yes, right. We have now got a runaway train and there's literally nothing I can do. I can't run to get back on it because uh, it's speeding up and it's getting away from me. Oh no, Oliver, we have got a runaway train. What are we going to do? I mean, seriously, what am I going to do? Because I can't actually get back on to stop this thing. Um, no, I I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get back on. Um, that's not good. So we actually, we actually legitimately have a runaway train now, and I actually don't know how to stop it. 
So now that we've got our runaway train, uh, what it's going to do is it's just going to go around uh, this whole loop and it's going to be picking up speed. So we want to spawn in uh, a steam engine. I think we should spawn in the Flying Scotsman. This this will be a good idea because like you know you have to remember Flying Scotsman is my favourite train in the world. Can't really do a Train Sim World 4 video without uh, the Flying Scotsman because it just looks so good. So we'll spawn that in. Ooh, that looks nice. <laughs> oh, look look at the sun as well, just like shining onto it. Oh, that is a beautiful looking engine. But anyway, uh, we need to get our train ready. So, uh, we need to sit in the cab. Right, brakes off, reverser on, dampers on, uh, fire on. Uh, let's have a quick look on the map to see where the uh, 47, our runaway train is. There it is, it's up there. So, we're going to wait until we get to about, think about there, and then we'll start actually uh, speeding off. So, let's put the uh, lamps on. <laughs> This is actually a really good idea. I mean, I don't know that this is going to work, but oh my god, if it does work, I'm a genius. I always get so overexcited in my videos. Like, you know, this is just a test just to see if this is going to work. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the uh, corridor tender door so uh, I've got like a, a good view of when I do see the runaway train. I'll have a... You know, just have a good view. Oh, that reminds me. I need to put the uh, knuckle coupler down. There we go. Don't want that getting in the way. Quick look on the map to see where it is. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, I think I might actually start moving now. So, uh, this gives us a bit of power. Uh, can't see where I'm going. Oh, there we go. Um, turn the uh, cylinder off. Cylinders. Do a two at the whistle. Excellent. Bring the reverser down a little bit. Speed up a bit more. I think if we get it to about uh, 100 and about 120 kilometers per hour, I think that will be a sort of like a good starting pace. <laughs> oh my god, I am so nervous. Like you have to remember, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Um, so at 90 kilometers per hour, we get a little bit faster. Uh, I can see it's still picking up, but um, I think we'll, we'll leave at about 100 kilometers per hour. I think. Yes, yeah, about that, I think. That, that, that'll do nicely. And you actually have to remember, this is the first time I'm actually ever doing this. Because in Train Simulator Classic, you can't actually have two trains on the same track going at the roughly the same speed. Because, like, you know, I, I, I don't think you can do that in Train Simulator Classic. So I'm not sure if this is even going to work. So there you go. Uh, 103 kilometers per hour. Do a nice two at the whistle. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's perfect. I think, um... Ooh, there's a tunnel. I forgot there was a tunnel here. This is actually a really nice tunnel as well. Oh, look, look at the uh, the light shine effect. Oh, oh, that is awesome. So let's have a look on the mini map. Uh, ooh, I think it's uh, it's definitely getting closer because I'm there and it's about there. So definitely need to keep a sharp lookout. Might speed up just a little bit. Get back to uh, 100 kilometers per hour. I don't know why it's, it's in kilometers per hour, um, but there you go. We can actually see how fast we're going. About 60. Hmm, I think we need to get it at about 80, really. That's where we actually need to be, because if we have a look on the map again, it's, it's catching up, and it is actually catching up quite fast. We might be able to see it in a minute. So let's have set back on the seat. So we're doing about 70 miles per hour. Good. But, again, that's not fast enough. Get like a a shot of the uh, of the tender. See if we can try and actually maybe try and see it. Can't see it just yet. Let's have a look on the map. Um, oh, there's other trains around. That's cool. Uh, where is it? Oh, oh, so there it is. Um, it is. It, 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 it's it's going to come any minute. So I think we should accelerate just a little bit more. Because if it's coming in too quickly, it will bash into us and cause a massive derailment. Which is not... Is, that's not what we want, is it? No, 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 no. We want to try and save this train, not crash it. We want to try and stop and save the passengers on this runaway train. Oh, there it is! I see it! I see the runaway train! It's on the same sort of straight as um, as we are now. It's going, it's going, that is going really fast. Like, we need to speed up. Um, oh, God, I think it's doing a million. Okay, speeding up time. Come on, Scotsman, speed up! <laughs> oh, God! I don't know what speed that thing's doing, so... Try to average a speed here, which I don't know how fast it's actually going. Oh, there it is. Oh, God, this is terrifying! Oh, my God! I'll get, like, a, 
uh, an inside tender shot. Let's have a little look. <laughs> oh my god, no way this is going to work. Um, I think I'm a bit of being a bit ambitious here, but there you go. Um, that is definitely moving. Um, doing 140 kilometers per hour. Let's... I think that's, I think we've almost linked speed. Oh, we're in the tunnel now. Oh, this is scary. This is, you can actually see it glowing in the dark. It's glowing. Oh my God, what have I done? What have I created? I, <laughs> this is incredible. So if I try and like, find out how fast that thing's going, um, <laughs> we need to speed up. Okay, focus on my focus. I can't focus. <laughs> this is probably one of the best things I've ever done. Oh, I'm doing about 150 kilometers per hour, which, um, which is what? Like, that's, like, that's over 90. I'm doing over 90 miles per hour to try and stop a runaway train. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm just really worried that the tiniest tap could cause the whole thing to just go. But, like, you know, fingers crossed, Oliver. I'm always optimistic. Okay, here we go, Scotsman. Here we go. Let's, uh. Try and buffer up to this thing. Here we go! Oh! <laughs> I think if we put the fall up and then close it again. See if we try and do another, like a, like a real close up. Because bear in mind, we're doing this at 90 miles per hour. Oh my god. How is this not derailing? This is, a, this is, this is the best thing I've ever done! So, quick update, uh, Scotsman is now being pushed by the runaway train. So if I try and go through the corridor tender and see. <laughs> yes, yes, that is, that is actually really cool. Let's head back, let's head back through the, uh, into the cab so we're safe. Right then, uh, now, uh, next test is to, s now that we've buffered up, uh, can I actually bring this thing to a stop without causing any damage or any derailment? So, what we want to do is, I think, is put the, uh, train brake on and, the no, this is the train brake, that's the loco brake, sorry. The loco brake on and the train brake fully on. Dampers uh, off, fire uh, off, and handbrake from the tender. We'll apply that to 100. So now that we've got the uh, handbrake on, we were doing about 150 kilometers per hour, and now we're now down to one three. Sorry, one now down to 130, 129 kilometers per hour is what I'm trying to say. So um, I think we're starting to slow down. But I don't think we don't have enough power to, in order to bring this thing to a stop. I think if we um, put it in reverse and then, no, keep the brakes on and put the regulator up a bit. Oh, wait, no, that's not working. Uh, reverse uh, to about the 40-ish. 40, yeah, yeah, 45, and let's see if we put a bit of regulator power on. Oh, and def we need the sander on. That's what we need as well, to stop the wheels from slipping. Um, oh, it's working. We're now down to 105 kilometers per hour, 104. This might actually work. I need to get it down under 30 in order to actually apply the brakes from the class 47. So we need to get it under 30. I mean, you can actually hear the, the roar of uh, the Class 47. It's still, like, you know, accelerating. It wants to go faster, but uh, Scotsman is saying, nope, we're bringing this thing to a halt. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's working. Let's look at our speed now, doing 67 kilometers per hour, 66 kilometers per hour, 65. It's definitely dropping. You can actually hear Scotsman starting to spring the whole thing to... A, to a stop. Come on, Scotsman. <laughs> this is this is just like the movie Unstoppable, except in the movie Unstoppable, uh, it didn't actually go very well. But we're dropping under 50. If I try and give it a little bit more regulator, would that actually help? Let's just see. I don't want to give too much regulator, or else the wheels will just spin out of control. And then we'll pick up speed again, and that's not what we want. Uh, I mean, we, we've got the handbrake on. We've got the loco brake and the train brake, so... 
I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best. Oh, we're in the 30 zone. I need to get it under 30 in order to actually access the cab of the uh, 47, the class 47. I mean, 36, 35. Oh my god, this is, this is actually working. I mean, it's made a huge difference. Oh, there we go. We're under 30. We're doing 28. So now, if I try and get access to the window, we can stop the throttle. So hopefully, uh, it's just stopped throttling up. There you go. Oh yeah, I think we've done it. I think we've actually done this. We've actually stopped a runaway train in Train Sim World 4. Oh my god, no way. No way this has worked. Oh, a little bit of a bump, but there you go. <laughs> that was amazing. I, ca I cannot believe this actually worked. Because you know when you have those ideas in your head, you're thinking... I want to see if this works, but then you second guess yourself thinking, I'm not sure this is actually going to work. But then like when you actually see it happening in front of you, you're like, oh my god, my idea actually worked. But again, this isn't an original idea. I got this idea from the movie Unstoppable, which it inspired me. But there you are, proof that you can stop a runaway train in Train Sim World 4. Um... I, I, I generally, I, I didn't, I did not know I could do this, but there you go. Uh, turns out you can do it. But I guess that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want me to try and do something a little bit more similar to this, or if you guys have any ideas of what you want me to do in Train Sim World 4, please let me know in the comment section down below. But make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, so stay notified to the channel. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.